So dear, dear Father, we come into this mercy, this promise of mercy. So by mercy tonight, we will assess mercy, mercy for mercy. Yes, we will obtain mercy to find grace, obtain mercy to find that grace. Grace. We need, we want grace. This grace, this same grace, the grace of God, the fullness of God, the grace of the fullness of God, the Godhead grace, the grace that our Lord Jesus had found, the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, the mercy of eternal life. Father, we thank you. We, 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 we just say, we came, we come under this grace again. We heart Sakina with Tatumavia, Talamuna, that there will be the reign of grace. For of this ministry, we've obtained mercy. We faint not. We faint not. We faint, Father, we faint not. Found grace in thy sight. Found grace in your sight. Found grace, the grace of God, the grace of God, your grace. Grace in your sight. And in the book, help us. Help, help us this night. Thank you. We have help in the Son of God. We have such a great high priest. Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus, the Son of God is, is the one. Jesus, the Son of God, our Lord and Savior. The Son of God. Thank you. We thank you. And I to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Evening. Evening, everyone. Amen. And, uh, there will be a school of the spirit tomorrow. So we we'll encourage people to still go online in the morning time. Um, the broadcast should begin. Very early night at the prayer should begin, begin night at the, so uh, we'll come up early um, then we'll see what the Lord will have us do hallelujah and welcome everyone and then we'll still pray tomorrow night so we'll just do the SOS something very quickly the school of the spirit very quickly then we'll still pray, who wants to pray we're engaging every other day, every day in prayers because we just have very limited time to pray just about one month praise god you're welcome praise the lord hallelujah i want us to uh see uh, the, the the book of hebrew amen amen hallelujah Amen. We give praise to God. Verse chapter 1, verse 2. Amen. Amen. And 3. At in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Mm. Who being the brightness of his glory yes, sir. and the express image of his person. It's the brightness of his glory and what again? Express yes, image, image of his person. Yes. And upholding all things by the word of his power. Upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins. Yes. Sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. He sat down on the right hand. Of the majesty on high. Mm -hmm. yeah. Being made so much better than the angels, as he had by inheritance obtained 
a more excellent name than they. Shout hallelujah. He, 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 is up, he had obtained a more excellent name than they. He had obtained a more excellent name than they. Praise God. Can we shout hallelujah? Amen. Praise God. Shout hallelujah. Um, <clears throat> I want us to see chapter 8. Chapter 8 of evil. Read verse 1. Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. Yeah. We have such an high priest That's right, sir. who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. Now, a, a, a priest can't sit on God's throne. A priest can't be qualified to sit on the throne of God. Praise the Lord. Um, a priest must be made high to sit on the throne of God. Amen. Amen. We give glory to God. I say a priest must be what? Amen. Made high to sit on God's throne. So we church have a great privilege to have one who sat on the throne of God. He's an high priest. Amen. He's an high priest. Very high. Hallelujah. Jesus is a high priest. So he's, he's not just a priest, but he's a high one. Jesus is a high one. High priest. High priest knows better than priest. High priests are better than priest. Eh? Hallelujah. I say high priest are what, sir? So high priest and high grade priest. He's not just an, high, an ordinary being. That's a high one. High priest. And a high priest just simply, let's just say it in this way. And a high priest is a priest that is high. It's a priest that is high. So Jesus is very high. Not so, sir. It's, it's what? It's what? It's high. Not so, sir. It's high and it's better. So much better than high priest. It's made so much better than high priest of the first creation. The first creation. Of course, the first creation talks about the first time God came into creation. When he first made. God hadn't made anything before. His first work is heaven and the earth. So, and the things that are therein, not so. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, if for Jesus to be measured and for us to see the elevation of Jesus' ministry, shout hallelujah, he was made so much better than priest in heaven. 
all the priests in the heavens are not as are not better are not as high as Jesus now Jesus is higher than the heavens not so let's see it's seven of Hebrew Yes, sir. For such an high priest became us, who is holy, harmless, mm. undefiled, mm -hmm. separate from sinners, mm. and made higher than the heavens. It is made higher than the heavens. Made higher than the heavens. Made higher than the heavens. So we can see if it was made so much better. So that's the meaning of being made so much better than the angels. Meaning it was made higher than the heavens. So the heavens are the angels. Not so. So Jesus is made so better than the angels. Or higher than what sir? Heaven is high. Heaven is what, sir? Mm -hmm. Earth is fustu. And uh, I I have seen Earth in scripture. Not so, sir. Praise God. I've seen hurt in scriptures. So, the hurt begins with Adam. Not so, sir. Adam's are hurt. Adam's are of the earth. Earthy. And of course, all Adams are living souls. Not so. So John said Jesus was from above. Hmm. That is why he speaks heavenly things. Not so. But they that are of the earth speak things of the earth. I'm talking about real earth. Real earth. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. All those who are of the earth, etty, they speak, what's sir? Etty things. Like I said to you, it began with Adam. And all Adams are of the earth. All Adams are of the earth. So they speak head. So not so far. So now when scripture says some people mind earthly things, that is not the head of Adam. Amen. That's a falling earth. That's carnality, not so. so. You can see John not wearing silk, fine and delicate wearings and purple like the palace boys do. And just say, Who do you go to see in the wilderness? That was it. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Who enjoyed delicate living. John wasn't like that. John, are you getting me? What do you want to see in the wilderness? The reed shaken by the wind? Is it no? He said, who you go to see a prophet? Yea, more than a prophet. So it's clear to be an earth 
you the gateway is the prophetic life of the old testament of the covenant are you listening to me before jesus they are eti so you can see <clears throat> Prophets like Isaiah and all of them were at. Hallelujah. Weren't they? They were of the earth at. They speak at. Even when they say speak, shout hallelujah. On what they speak. Because John, no one has risen like unto John. Of all men born of women, woman, none was like John. And John spake not from heaven, he spake from the earth. We give glory to God. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, I said the, we, when we see levels of prophets in scripture, not so, sir. Majorly, when we talk about prophets uh, that I identify with the change of nature through ways of God. Am I talking to you? I'm not talking about those who just prophesy. So, Prophesying, seeing vision, dream, are you listening, interpreting things, does not just only make one a prophet. Those are prophetic children's realm. But when prophets, when the Bible declares someone and said, son of man, it's referring to prophet that have been cultured into the nature of a prophet. So on head, we have prophets. Not so. We have prophets on head. So when is a head, eti, talking about prophetic ministry. Not so. Every one who had arisen, who began to touch, or began to touch Raising through God's ways. Because God is interested in men. All men are shrubs that God will want to pass the water of growth. He wants to raise sons of men. Not so, sir. But it's not easy to harvest out of flesh son of man. It's not easy to make out of children of men sons of man or son of man I, that's how God refers to the whole testament prophet son of man what do you see son of man son of man son of man now when those are levels of sonship don't you hear those are what uh, levels of sonship where on earth amen yeah. is that clear sir yeah. those are what sir on earth. So there is the least son of man in the Bible. I can't, it's not easy to tell them or decode them, but somehow you can classify them. So you can see the men in Genesis, especially Genesis chapter 5, after the fall of Adam. I'm talking about Genesis chapter 5, the prodigies of Adam's nature through the blood of Abel. Those were high sons of men. Let's see chapter 6. Mm -hmm. Not so, sir. Mm -hmm. Verse 1. 
And it came to pass. And it came to pass. When men began to multiply on the face of the earth. When men began to multiply on the face of the earth. And daughters were born unto them. Yes, sir. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. Now this is where a lot of guys made mistake. These sons of God can marry. Are you listening to me? Jesus said, angels don't marry. They are giving. Some people say, they cause the fair. Mm -mm. That there is nothing like that. Shout hallelujah. Angels don't what, sir? I don't know how to say it. Uh, they have spiritual body. But the body was not designed to reproduce and marry. So angels can't sleep with a woman. That, that wicked is, is, is occultic. It's an occult knowledge. For somebody to say angels married women. You know when I read some of those things, when you read the book of Especially the book of Noah. Is the book of Noah? No, it's the book of Enoch. You see it on the internet. Not so. There's nothing called book of Enoch. What, you see, I just, it's very easy. When you have the epistle, before you can judge books, eat a lot of epistles. Have Christ. Immediately they begin to talk, you know that these are cunningly devised fables. There is corn in them. They are not revelatory. Cunningly devised fables can be con. They are, they are lying revelations. They were written by Satan through men to deviate people. So that you will not have, check all those who marry those books. Study them. They are not establishing the truth. So forget materials that are not included here. This is enough. Amen. You've not finished with this. Yes. Try and finish this. <laughs> Just leave Ephesians alone. You are not yet true with it. Yes. Romans is enough. Yes. Shall I look at those, some of those books are not included. God, Holy Spirit did not allow them. Yes. Is that clear? Yes. So don't go on to other books and try to get materials from no, I tried listening. I couldn't. I didn't have energy. And Jasha and Daya and then in the kingdom of Alimi. They know all kinds of names. The names are very strange. In Helia. You know, they, these are guys who knew the name of angels. Are you listening to me? Eh? In Teniel. One can name like that. <laughs> Fell and with Lucifer and in Teniel you'll be wondering what, where you told them about all this name <laughs> intruding into what they did not know intruding the worship of angels puffed up by their fleshy mind <laughs> we give the glory to God so you can see sons of God in the Old Testament. Read that again, Pastor. Sorry, please. I don't know where I'm going back again. I'm just going back. Let me just obey it. Praise God. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. That they were fair. And they took them wives of mm. all which they chose. Now, they marry. They took them wives. I don't know you get that. This, they, they must be men. And they? They what, sir? Now let's see the next verse. What happened? And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. So it means they were men. So why should God get angry with man? If it, if it were angels that married women, are you listening to me? The man, the men were not involved. 
And they didn't see the sons of men. Angel didn't what? Commit homosexuals with the sons of men. They were attracted to ladies. If they were angels. But why should God say, I am tired with man? Not angels. Is, is that clear? My spirit shall know what, sir. With man. I, I love that word strive. I love the word strive. Uh, that word strive means uh, war. Wanting to hinder. Stand against. To stop man. My spirit shall not always I love the word always, meaning when you are hard demand, my spirit will not strive with you to the end. It will leave you after a while. Because you have made up your mind to be what you want to be. Hallelujah. So the spirit of the Holy Spirit on earth or the faces of Yahweh. The spirit of the Lord was with the sons of God. The, the spirit of the Lord was with the sons of God. So the son, what I'm pointing out there is that in, in Genesis, they had sons of God. Sons of God. Say it, sir. Shout hallelujah. In, in Genesis, who did they have? So, now, you won't see that again in scripture. It was, when we saw it, it was in Daniel. But that was not a man. That was an angel. Then we saw it in Job. Sons of God. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So but you see that Daniel. Is that Genesis? It's, so it's, we've established that they weren't angels. They were men. And I read the, the account of a Pharisee. Is interpretation of that what sir? Of that scripture. Is that clear? He called them a particular name. He said they were neither men nor angels. That they have lived on earth. They used to exist with man. That's just a fuse. So it's clear even the Pharisee is not clear. So, now, why is that? Because Jesus called the Pharisee the Sadducees. Does hear me? He called the Pharisees the Sadducees to scribe the lawyers. Oh, you are blind. He kept using the word blind. You are blind. Who lead the blind? It means they were in singing. So what makes those prophets? Are you getting me? What makes them distinct is that they were seeing, and seeing is understanding. Oh, ye blinds, Pharisee, and f I don't know. He called them fools. Anyone who is blind is a fool. You will be foolish. Not so, sir. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17. Huh? Read it. Let's see, sir. Verse 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. In the vanity of their mind. Yes, sir. Having the understanding darkened. Yes, sir. 
being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them yeah. because of the blindness of their heart. Because of what, sir? The blindness, blindness of, of their, their heart. heart. Blindness of what, sir? Of their heart. Now, Jesus said, you slow of heart. You fools. Slow of heart to believe. At times, when one is slow of heart, it's not, it's not seen. When you see, you won't be slow of heart. Is that clear, sir? Shout hallelujah. So, they were blind and they were teaching Jews and leading the whole nation. Is it when the blind lead into the, the blind? What happened? Now he called them babes. Paul also accused the Jews and said, You are babes. Are you getting me? Teachers. Teachers of babes. Fools. Teachers of babes. Blind who teach babies. If all in a generation is blind folks that lead that generation. Yes. That generation will not excel. I can tell you, through all ages, the battle of the churches has been the battle of blindness. Darkness. Blinding. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So it's clear in Genesis chapter 6. Sir. Are we there? Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, the, the ones that will marry daughters of men. So if they are sons of God, why would they use the word daughters of men? They are parents wearing wearing sons they were children yeah. and not just that they were locked up in children prison they were just men who were dead not so and who had followed the way of Cain am I communicating to her sir and then they gave birth to daughters. And those daughters were fair. And then they married them. Not so, sir. And then when they were married, the child, they, they chose wife for themselves, which they, 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 they saw, and they chose them wives, which they took them wives, which they chose. Took wives, which they chose. So it's clear that community. You shouldn't just take wife, which you choose. Sir, anybody say you won't hear from heaven, no? Come and speak to you. Which one to marry? You have eyes. If with this your high, you'll be taking woman to marry. You are going to be in trouble. Hello, sir. How many marriages has failed? Because of man's will to choose. Can I say something to you? In those ancient days, those who they marry for them, not so. So how many of such marriages failed? I for one, my own mother was brought in by my grandmother. Yes. My father didn't eat. My father told them. He was in the north and he said, listen, you guys who oh, have waited, I didn't see a wife. I will marry an outside woman. My father so much married the north that he said he's going to marry outside. Then his mother out of fright because they know him. <laughs> Am I communicating with you? He said, quickly, 
they went to my mother's house, family, and took, brought my mother and said, this is a wife for you. I think he, he saw her and liked her. She was even a Muslim. And uh, began to instruct her concerning the Bible. He told me he got her born again. <laughs> so somebody should not say, if they can give birth to a whole Reverend K, then we have license. Um. <laughs> Satan has become more sophisticated. You have to apply her gospel. <laughs> and all gospel, sir, is leading of the spirit. All I'm trying to say is that oftentimes what we choose may not be God's choice. So that tells you that the battle of sons is the battle of choice. It's clear those men became tired. Sons of God. Now, what were their level? They were, I for one believe, from scripture, the Genesis prophets were in ordinary. And that was the season, the priestly ministry of Melchizedek existed. It was strong in Genesis. It hasn't gotten to 20th chapter. Melchizedek showed up in Genesis. So that told, tells us if Melchizedek met Abraham, I am too sure that priestly ministry has existed before Abraham. And Melchizedek, read it, sir. Hebrew chapter 7, sir. Hmm. Hebrew 7. For this Melchizedek, for this Melchizedek, king of Salem, yes, priest of the most high God, yeah, huh. who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings, yes, Lord, and blessed him, hmm. to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. First being by interpretation king of righteousness yes, sir. and after that also king of Salem yes. which is king of peace yes, sir. without father, mm -hmm. without mother, mm. without descent without having neither beginning of days neither beginning nor of days. end of life nor end of but life. made like unto the son of God is now made made not so fast, no? it was made like Unto the, the Son, Son of, God. of God. Abided a priest forever. So you can't say he was a son of man. He was actually a kind of God's son. I love the word like. What does that like? How will you call it, sir? Another type of God's son. Even though he was a man. Now, when this is this sonship of God concerning Melchizedek, some of people called Melchizedek the appearance of Jesus in Genesis. No. No. That was not Jesus. That was not our Lord Jesus. They call it, there's a thing, is it theophany? You know, a theological phrase. That is the appearance of Jesus. Eh? Epiphany. I don't know those things. Is it Melifany? Ediphany? Epi what, sir? Can I do? If that is <laughs> if that is where knowledge is, where we are in trouble. Satan does not respect those language. Revelation, knowledge, yeah. light is what they don't like. Yeah. They don't want us to assess light. So it's clear. Now, Melchizedek was a type of a son. Not so, Pastor. So that tells us there is 
great in sonship. Even of earth. I hope I'm understood. Even of earth. I, I hope I'm communicating. So it's clear. Uh, they must have started from a lower dimension of sonship to what, sir? High dimension of sonship. Now, Jesus referred, amen, I hope you're not tired of me. No, he, calls some, he calls those graves in the Old Testament. He was referring to that order. He said, what many prophets and kings desire to see. Or many prophets and righteous men. Hallelujah. So, you can now deduce and clear it out. How God normally made sons, prophets, gradually prophets turn into righteous men. Those righteous men are king of righteousness until he becomes a king of peace. Later on, it will, it will translate into being the son of God. I, I was afraid of Genesis. That chapter 6 of Genesis. When those sons of God were hanging against Satan. He didn't like it. They were the harvest of chapter 5. They had grown so well that they were some mini, they are not yet full blown Melchizedek. But they were many. And that was God's pride. God's joy. And do you know Satan hacked them down. All of them. None survive. All of us didn't hear me. All of them what sir? Is only one. Noah was the one that survived. Let's see Genesis chapter that chapter six. Please, I hope you're not tired. Genesis chapter six. Amen. Praise God. In Old Testament, it's not easy to decipher the Old Testament. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So read verse 2 for me. Verse 2, Genesis chapter 6. Yeah. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. And they took them wives of all which they chose. Now they took them wives of all which they chose. Let's jump. Verse 5, read sir. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Yeah. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart yeah. was only evil continually. Yeah. And it repented the Lord that he made man on the earth. Yeah. And it grieved him at his heart. Yes. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom uh, look, I... Then you can see the problem of God is not with angels here. Man, man, man. man. That, it was the one who committed that sacrilege. And I can tell you the anger of God was unleashed and God turned his heart to destroy because his own sons fell. Why? A city raised on a hill which cannot be hidden. You are the salt of the earth. Is that clear? Yeah. That when you see it, before Jesus began to teach that message, Jesus has taught the attitudes, levels of sonship. Are you listening to me? Am I communicating to you? Then he began to tell the importance of why we should press into that attitude of becoming God's son. The blessedness of this is that through you, God will delay the program of wrath. When sons are on earth, it means it gives hope to God. That creation can be, re can be redeemed. Amen. If there is a righteous, ten righteous man in Sodom, I won't destroy it. It means God was looking for salt. But he didn't what, sir? 
he couldn't get it. So it's good for nothing. Let's clear it. Because a son can redound to redemption of many by one man. Many were made righteous. As long as we have them. But what happened was there were many sons. Men were already bad. Am I communicating to you? But when the sons of God get, got into the daughters of men and chose wife, they stopped their preservative ministry. Satan accelerated death. Then God has no choice but to take out man. And what was talking there, or what was making protest, was great mercy and love. So that if I leave man like this, everything about redemption of God will be gone. I will have to create another Adam. Look at me. And that is not right. I have to recreate and I have to create another Adam. If I create another Adam, it's not going to fulfill what I am looking for. Now, there are laws standing against that. Why such laws? There's a, there's a spirit hanging God's enemy fighting a cause. It must be through this man. It must be through his lineage that this just cause of God will prosper. But we give thanks to God. Let's see what happened to Noah. Quickly. Verse 8. Eight. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Yes, sir. Noah was a just man. Beautiful. And perfect in his generation. And what happened, sir? And Noah walked with God. Uh -huh. And Noah begat three sons. Amen. Shem, Am, Japhet. Shem, Ham, Japhet. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man. Righteous man. Noah was perfect where? And what again, sir? Are, are, are you seeing three levels? King of righteousness. King of peace. He was on his way. He was fulfilling. You know, even the priestly ministry. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The high priestly cause. It's not just one day. It's a gradual entrance. It was in this. I just want you to see the level Noah was. So you can tell where those sons of God had gotten. Amen. Let me just quickly say so we will not stay here without taking anything home. Because it's, I wanted to see why am I painting this picture? Anything, the word G-O-D, God, God, when you hear the word G-O-D, God, it talks about heaven. Hmm. It talks about what, sir? That's just it, sir. When he has son of man, he talks about heads. So sons of man, or son of man, or sons of men, are earthly prophets of earth. But sons of God in Genesis are heavenly prophets of earth. Have you seen that, sir? They are what, sir? Heavenly prophet of 
head. Now that Melchizedek is a priest of the most high God. So the realm of Melchizedek, Melchizedek was not higher than angels. He was a man. But a son of heaven, of head. Am I communicating that? Open the book of Psalm 103, read, please. I'm taking time to divide the Bible. Not so, sir. It's not easy. Many, many things are in these divisions. Don't you see, so? Yes. Psalm 103. Yes, sir. Verse 19. Yeah. The Lord had prepared his throne in the heavens. And that is, is everything about God's throne is where? In the he prepared heavens. it. His reign. Where did he prepare it? In the heavens. heavens. Let's read further. And his kingdom ruleth over all. All heavens. Now let's see the heavens. Bless the Lord. Yea, his angels. That is the first heaven of the, from the descending order. These angels are the first heaven. Go, go further. That excel in strength. They, do, they, are, they have excellent strength. That do his commandments. This is the excellent reign. This is the excellent heaven. Go further. Hearkening unto the voice of his word. They hearken to the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord all ye his hosts. Yes, second heaven. Ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. This is the second heaven. Host is the second heaven. The, 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 the third heaven. Bless the Lord all his works. Yeah. In all places of his dominion. That is the third heaven. The last one. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. That is the fourth heaven. Is the living soul heaven. This is the living soul heaven. This is the realm of sons of God. I for one believe that Enoch got here. I, I hope I'm talking. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Some sons touch here. They touch this heaven. What is man that art mindful of him? What is the son of man that what? Visitors him. It, that may dest him. For people's sake, for children of God's sake, for those familiar with that verse, Hebrew chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2. Yes, one in a certain place saying, yeah. Hebrews 2, 6. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Yeah. Or the son of man that thou visitest him? Hmm. Thou madest him a little lower than the angels? Yes, sir. Thou crownest him with glory and honor? All of them. And did set him over the works of thy hands? Now, over the works of... First of all, in Genesis, when God made Adam, the first dominion of Adam, was purely earthly, not so, sir. Yes, sir. But when God was saying that to Adam, he was saying that to man. He also meant that later on, he will even commit much more under Adam's feet. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Is that clear, sir? Yes, sir? So Adam will start with earth. Is that all things? Yes, sir. Read from that. Verse 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. You have put all things under his subjection. Yeah. For in that he put all in subjection but under what? him. Yeah. He left nothing that is not put under him. Yeah. But now we see not yet all things put under him. Yeah. But we see Jesus. Yeah. Who was made a little lower than the this is, angels. This is serious. So, so we will say Jesus was made a little lower than Elohim. God Almighty. All those angels there are Elohims. Melchizedek was an earthly Elohim. Elohim simply means judge. Men that has judgment. That was why you see, when they are deliberating on the issue of sons of God, is a season of judgment. So when those sons of God gathered in Job, 
is for them to judge. They will understand. God is not going to do anything secret behind them. They will be there in God's presence. For, for judgment's sake, Satan ascended there and came into that place. How are you getting me? To hear how God will judge Job. So he came to provide justice. Not so, sir. And to make things severe for Job. So I will tell you something. Anytime you, a man is crossing, amen, amen. into the high priestly calling of God, because the high priestly calling, high priests are attached to God. I hope I'm not slow. There's no way I can be fast with this type of message. I priests are attached to God. They are to do with God. They are agents of Elohim. So it's clear. Adam had head under him. But with a calling to go higher. Uh, it was evident by how God addressed his surrounding. God spoke to him through the garden. He was able to, if he, if he could read it well, God was telling him, come higher. Don't stay here. Is it the purpose of the tree of life? It's for you to rise higher in life. So, because Adam also in Luke chapter 1, or chapter 3, it was also referred to as the son of God. You know, the count, uh, that, was the last pro, uh, the, that was the last person they mentioned, Adam being the son of God. The person who wrote that book was a mature brother in Christ Jesus. He wrote it through Paul's wisdom. It was Paul's writer. It was Paul's brother. Look. I think he was a physician. He wrote it by revelation. What I'm teaching is Paul's teaching. Concerning the Old Testament. If you want to understand the Old Testament very well, check Paul. He has a better handling than anyone. Is that, is that okay? Can we shout Hallelujah. hallelujah. So Jesus was the son of God. Also Adam was the son of God. You know the time you write that genealogy, that was the first day they pronounced Jesus being God's son. Not man, God said it. This is my son in whom I am well pleased. Is that clear, sir? Yes, sir. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? I don't know, am I making some sense spiritually? Yes, Can we say Adam, the son of God? Adam. Adam was God's son. When they say Adam was God's own son, doesn't mean Adam was given back to by God. Mm -hmm. He just simply said, Adam who wear heavens. Adam who wear the heavens of the earth. Do you agree with me, sir? How, how many of us know that even on the heaven of the earth, there are places there. The Bible calls it high places. Where evil spiritual wickedness in high places. That tells you the spiritual wickedness are not of the same grade. The, so the high places are being what, sir? Occupied. Listen to me. Those are the occupation of God's sons. So they were in their order. Taking the heavens. Remember when Jesus said, Occupy till I come. It is those places. Take the heavens. Sir? In the heaven of the earth. There is an heaven of the earth. And it's not the same height. It's 
from height to height. You see that high place of the high places are a realm of God's sons. So you can see the ones in chapter 6. They have stepped in there. They are actually, they have entered the heavens. <laughs> they have begun the course of heaven. I hope, I hope you're hearing me. No, no, course of heaven talks about cause of glory. They had entered the cause of heaven. And God was joyful about that. There was something that should have happened on earth, Pastor. Such men should have colonized the earth. Amen. Amen. For Satan doesn't want men there. He hates any man taking what's uh, that space. What of the New Testament? We have a better heaven to what's uh, to occupy. But that doesn't say hello that that heavens will not be occupied by us. Hear me, hear me. Hear me. We would stay. We will, we, will, <laughs> we will stay in those heavens. But we are linked to another heaven. We are from an heaven to occupy that heaven. Like the man child, sir. He wasn't born he was higher than the heaven where they birthed him. He was almost sitting on the throne. Satan does not know. He was actually attacking a man with a dual face. Dual identity of heaven. So I hope I'm talking to you. He, the man who had entered into a high heaven higher than the celestial heavens. I hope, I'm, I hope I've not confused you now. So, there is an heaven of Jesus. So, when you ask me, what is heaven? Heaven means high. So, those who take heavens, they are high. They are high. So, in other words, that is why all heavens just take out the heavens of heart, the heaven of man. Are you listening? The heavens of heaven. I'm talking the heaven of the heavens. Oh, we'll get into the proper celestial, which doesn't belong to man. Amen. It's of angels, not so, sir. Are we blessed? Who hunts it? Angels hunts it, not so, sir. That's an heaven. All those heavens. Those who occupy there are sons of God. So the highest son of God on earth is lower than angels in the lowest heaven. Lowest sons of God. I want you to gain wisdom here. The lowest son of God, sons of God in the heavens are higher than the highest sons of God. Lucifer say, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Those are sons of God. Star, the word star means sons. It's sonship. Above the star of God. I will sit upon the mountain of the congregation in the size of the north. Is it by the time I go up above the sons of God, I will go where? I will go higher than the first heaven in ascending order, then come into the second heaven. And, and sit at the peak. Because I was there. He used to be at that place before. He was on that side of the north. So we are not dealing with an ordinary creature. Who had handled heavens. Listen to me. He understood heaven. This present heaven. He knows the elements, Pastor. Pastor. 
Then he said, I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. And that's the one. Immediately you go above the heights of the cloud, you will be like the most high. He said he wants to be like the most high. And Isaiah says, no, you shall be brought down even to the air, to the sides of the, even to the pit, to the sides of the pit. And those who know you will say, is it not the man that what troubled the earth, they will narrowly look at you. I want to tell you, Jesus is doing a, a great deal in intercession. Amen. Jesus is always interceding for you and I. Is that clear, sir? Everybody say, hey, man. I hope you are not tired of me. No, Can I continue? Yes, sir. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I hope this message is not drowsy. No, I want to be sure. Can I continue? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? So we have heavens. Earth has its own heaven. Is there in Genesis chapter 1? Not so. Let's see Genesis chapter 1. Quickly, just for people's sake. Then I... There's still many things I still need to say about this for clarity purpose. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven. You see, this heaven is where he dwells and the angels are. And there are three zones. Main, main, three main heavens in this heaven. You hear me? Inside this heaven, there are three heavens. Solomon referred to it as the heaven of heavens. Then when you come below, Read verse, verse 6, let's see. Verse 6. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Yeah. And let it divide the waters from the waters. Yeah. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. He, he called the firmament. What's up? Heaven. Heavens. So it's clear. We have our own heaven. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I want to ask you something. We wrestle not against what? Against what? But we wrestle against principality? Against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness. Where? Yeah. Now they say the Bible says we walk in time past according to the prince of the power of the air. So I love the word spiritual wickedness in heavenly, in high places, high places. Is it from that firmament upward? Is an high place of the earth. When you leave the celestial of angels, the spiritual of the first creation, are you listening to me? The celestial as you are descending. When, if you can break out of his confluence, that is where those angels have trouble. Those angels have trouble meeting spirits who fight them. Satan is in the highest peak there. He can't enter. He can't enter into that heavenly celestial. He cannot go in. He can't step in. That celestial is unseen. You can't see with your natural eye. But angels can travel that distance and break into our world. Spirits can do that journey. No motor car can travel it. No, no jet, no, no rocket can get there. God made that distance impossible for man's strength. But let your spirit leave your body. 
If you're a child of God, you will go there. You, you travel it easily. But when Jesus resurrected with his glorious body, he doesn't need the fire of Elijah. He never needed what, sir, chariot. An angel does not need to escort him. What was he doing, sir? He was going and coming. He said, I'm coming. I will meet you. He's gone. He just, now when the cloud came to pick him, yeah. it's for a witness of the disciple. Yeah. So it's, we worship Jesus. Now, can I go further? Yes, Are we ready? Yes, Everyone say amen. amen. Now, the high priest of head, are you listening to me? Will occupy heavens. I'm not talking about, you know, the high priest of Israel. Aaron, with all his ascension, he was still earthly. Exodus was lower than Genesis. Now, how do I know? God never consecrated Melchizedek with two rams, a bullock, oil, and water. Or you see, God came. Oh yes. No, they didn't do that. His bullock, his rams of consecration, and ram of burnt offering, wafer, unleavened bread, cakes, unleavened. Am I talking to you? Talks about those three realms I'm talking about now. Of heavens. The earth also represents that, sir. So what they use for Melchizedek, are you listening to me? To be consecrated as an high priest was not all those things. Bread. Rams. Ah. Uh, are already packaged as ways. Mm. Part. They were king of bread. Different bread. Righteousness was a bread. Peace was a bread. Am I talking to you? Yes. To be a priest who abides forever, that's the hidden manner. That's the bread of God. Am I communicating to you that an high priest partakes of most holy that needs the portion of urine and two men to share? So it's clear, sir. So when God was leading that man, he was leading him according to my pattern. So but God knew he was dealing with a generation that has fallen in Exodus. You could consecrate Aaron seven days, in three days, seven days. All that was done in years for Melchizedek. Am I communicating to you? Shout hallelujah. Was compressed in the power in the after the order of the carnal commandments. The tools it offered for sanctuary for cleansing in the outer court and for passing into the holiest of all. All of those things were packaged as physical things. Just in seven days, you're already a priest. You're already consecrated a priest. But the Melchizedek, they took years. They leadings. I listen. So that's why Aaron can rise, could not rise above head. But Melchizedek took heavens of the earth. So our Lord Jesus stood on that pedestal. Now took a course. Pastor, God gave him a course. They say, we have our courses. And the courses was that Jesus should from little lower than angels they gave him a course of another heaven more than the celestial. 
Are you listening to me? As a man, he should what, sir? He should digest a, another cause higher than angels. A high cause from the lowest heaven of that dimension. I hope I'm talking to you. Shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you. Shout hallelujah. What cause did they give to Jesus? The cause of the new earth and the new heavens. That is higher. That was higher. And Jesus learnt it. Eh? Jesus learnt that cause until he became the son of God of that highest heaven. Jesus became the son of God of that third heaven. Hallelujah. Of that third heaven. Now, I have talked about how many heavens here now, sir. Heavens of the earth, heaven celestial where angels dwell, and the one that is coming. You know, before it cometh, hey amen, one man has already done everything about that heavens. And he entered into the glory of that heavens. He entered into the glory of that heavens. He learned the glory of that heavens. That obedience which he learned. Are you guys saying? Open to Hebrew chapter eight, 5 quickly. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Verse 8. Thank you. Though he were a son. Though he were a son. Yet learned he obedience. Now, by Pastor, you see this a son. This sonship is in his soul. Hmm. He was a son. He was learning. They gave Jesus a cause of a better heavens than angels. Heavens of eternal life. Is that clear, sir? What did they give to him, sir? If of eternal life. Though he were a son. What did he do, sir? Yet lent he obedience. By what, sir? By the things which he suffered. Then what happened to him? And being made perfect. What happened? He became the author of eternal it, salvation. Uh, are you seeing where it's going? So all that is locating is another heaven. Because that God told me, I wrote it down here in Hebrew, that heavens is our salvation. All heavens. As salvation, not just planet. I no, it's not the planet. The entity you become, that which heavens offers. In each heaven, we have corn. How many of you? We have what, sir? Of food, we have bread. I, I am too sure manna is not from the excellent glory of the present heaven. It must have been from where, sir? Of the air, that is the it must be maybe the first heaven because they, it's the food angels eat, it's the food of angels. So it must they just open the first heaven for them to eat that corn, different land with their grains. Is that clear, sir? So it was from heavens, ivory palaces, they pluck spices, not so, and they. Grind it. I don't know how Holy Ghost would do that, sir. Because when Jesus comes, if you see Jesus now, that anointing is on him. The smell on his garment. Jesus is perfuming out a particular smell. When you listen to that smell, eternity is open. Because what that smell talks of is eternal things. Those smells are tidings. They talk. If your soul is developed, when you listen to you begin to travel to, by the smell. You know, smell can make you remember things. 
and smell can impress some things in your heart. If our Lord walked in here, we will all pass it things. Things will open. And it, you know, it is that smell we are actually perceiving that is opening the Bible. It is those spices that are calling, bringing understanding of the scripture or what has been closed. It is a smell. I, I, I hope I'm talking to you. Before I jump to that place, I was saying something. What was I saying? Each heaven has what, sir? It's corn, pastor. And the corn is food. The, the corn is word. The word of God. In each realm. In each heaven. In each heavens, there are corns. So Jesus fetched the corn of the world to come. And he began to eat it. That's why he said they will send a cherubim with a cherubic corn to give to sons of God who will become cherubs. Am I talking to you? Who will become, who are coming into the third heavenly order of glory. Not so? And the cherub will not be able to eat the corn. He can carry it. But you know because he has used a corn that was similar to the one that is now he is now carrying. I don't know what I'm saying. Everyone shout out. So his meaning, so he could carry it, he can bring it, but he can't touch it. He can bring it, but he can't eat it. And to eat corn is not physical, it's to look into. Every corn changes you. Every corn brings a change. I hope I'm talking to you. Yes, Is that clear, sir? How do I say? I say what, sir? Every corn brings a change. Now, the corn of the heavens, Amana, God <laughs> has allotted for us. They are of the new heavens. And there are things there. That's why the Bible says he has blessed us. With what, sir? All spiritual what, sir? In where? He said, we have, been, we, have been, we have been born again to an inheritance. Incorruptible, Pastor. Undefined. That faded not away. Where are they, sir? You see, he's talking about this heaven. Now, everyone say heaven. That heaven is a special firmament. Every heaven. Heavens are firmament. They call the firmament. Heaven. Heaven. The, the firmament keep things. Firmament. What do they call it, sir? Heaven. So, what God's firmament will keep? When you go, when you are, immediately you get to heaven of angels, they have their firmament. And there are things that think cost stone. So it is with God's own firmament. Our physical heaven has not appeared. But our real heaven is already existing. It's in, his, it's in his fundamental state. It's spiritual. It's in his fundamental state. How? Our heavens. Our heavens is what Jesus holds. Our heaven is what Jesus holds. Jesus is the author. He is the high priest of good things to come. When you ask Jesus, who are you there? I'm a keeper of heavens. I can give you things that will make you so much better than the angels. I will bless you with materials that will make you so much better than what, sir? Than angels. In few words, scripture says we hold with open face. Not so, sir. Beholding as in a glass. What are we beholding, sir? 
I'm sure we all know now what that thing means. It's not so. We all know what it means. Pastor, what are we beholding? Say it again. What are we beholding? The glory of the Lord. Now, what you are beholding is not is not glowing of a bulb. What you are beholding is a meaning. It's an embodiment of knowing that is called glory. Knowing the meaning of a glory. I get it. And they call that thing glory. They call that those materials glorious. Altogether, they are the glory of God. So when you are bringing people into glory, you are bringing them into an ability to reign. You are bringing them into a realm of, the, of opportunity of reigning. And that's why you can't reign in life as if you have received abundance of grace. And how does abundance of grace come? Knowledge. And of the gift. Now that gift of righteousness, I taught it before as your spirit man being born again. But what I see is actually the garment of the saint. The linen garment. The linen garment. That linen garment is the righteousness of the holiest. Because you can't enter reigning the realm of glory without that garment. It's the, it's the regalia of learning high things. <laughs> it's a regalia of custodying high things. It's a regalia of fellows. Pastor, that regalia also is eternal life. It's those who have passed the test that wear the righteousness, the garment of righteousness. So anybody who has it will have right of way to salvation. There is nobody who will say, I am safe. Pastor. You can't say, I am safe. And you are not glorious. <laughs> you know, Christians say, I am safe. I have salvation. And you say, you are not. And you say, you are, you are gloryless. I'm not talking about. One somebody who is say because the Christian can speak English very well, is an orator. That's not what I'm talking about. Evil spirit, darkness will see you and say, we can't tempt him anymore. This one is wiser than darkness. This one is too bright for Satan. You, you, know, you, no, you know, Jesus Christ can be tempted by Satan. Anytime is Satan trying to come and tell, you know, Satan is lawless. Don't think, everyone look at me. Don't think because angels will guide Jesus. Hey, don't tempt him. Oh. We have said there is, is the child, is the son of God now. No, 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 no. They are not protecting him from Satan. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> they are not protecting him from Jesus. Why Satan is coming? You know, Satan sees Jesus. Something happens to There is something about spirits in the realm of the spirit. A spirit knows you are higher than him. When he sees you, if truly you are higher, I love the word high in the spirit. When a spirit, it is men that struggle with men. But spirit in the realm of it is clear. They know. What they know, they know. Am I communicating to you? They don't argue with ranking. You see an evil spirit behavior, and Michael is showing up. What happened? Since Michael is here, I'm going. He's settled.
Satan know Jesus, knows Jesus very well. More than you know him. Jesus did something in him. He's alone. He's, he's only the one that can tell you how it feels. It, it was a I know the word destroy. Honestly speak, I can't still today I can't describe that word. I just saw a I saw a lightning going, a being that is a lightning, but he has been destroyed. But <laughs> Jesus dealt with him. So and there's a way he's trying to hide it. But he knows somebody destroyed him. Any time he find the destroyer and comes in contact with him, he's paralyzed. It, it tells him, I am gone. No. Sir, what am I trying to say? When you revealed the glory of the destroyer to Satan, Satan become harmless. <laughs> Death becomes a toothless bulldog. Anytime you preach immortality and preach the song, of God. When you preach the Son of God, you are, you are tampering with eternal life, immortality. Life eternal. Immortality. Is it to him who is eternal, immortal, invisible. And those are characteristics of the Godhead. Eternal. When you get to eternal life, then there is, that, there is what is called immortality. Now these are the things Jesus has yes. and what Jesus has become. And that's who Jesus is. Amen. Interacting with God's glory is interfacing with a, a reality called elevation in the spirit. It's a knowledge. It's a knowledge, fresh knowledge. Something that is close to the church for ages. Not 200 years, not 300 years, not 400 years, not 500 years, not 600 years. I'm talking about more, more, more than a thousand years. This thing has not done in the heart of the churches. I'm saying it's a fresh veil. It's entering into that place wherein our foreigners for us has entered. We are able to come there because of mercy and you all are chosen Amen. to come. Amen. We found mercy, sir. There's no way you can learn to this place. You will learn, learn, then you will deviate. But mercy found us. Heaven decided that it's going to teach you the meaning of the word glory. They want you to communicate with God's glory. We are going to be beholding the glory of God. We are going to be beholding it weight after weight. Then we will get into change after change. Can we thank him? Is Jesus exalted? Is Jesus praise? Is Jesus reigning? It's clear Jesus is God. The Father said unto him, He said, He said unto the Son, Thy throne, O God, it's forever and ever. The scepter of your dominion, it's righteousness. You love righteousness, you hated iniquity. God, even your God, and anointed thee with the oil of gladness above all thy fellows. For thou, O Lord, <laughs> earth, heavens are the works of your hand. You have laid the foundation of the earth from the beginning. You did them. They shall perish. They shall work so as dotted garment. But you remain. Ah, your years. Ah, 
shall not fail. Thank you for bringing us into an unfailing years. Unfailing times. Your own times. Where you will show to us the only potentate, the king of kings and the lord of all lords. He was immortality dwelling in the light that man can't get to. We thank you. Father, I thank you. Great God, I thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just pray tonight that there will be an impartation already. Impartation for all your children. Let them be blessed. Let them be impacted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shalom to everyone. Good night.